Tribal Brutality is back. <laughs> Tribal Brutality is going all night. We are going all night. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how we start this Tribal Brutality game, uh, which is really sweet. We didn't get to see last time. So, uh, new colony. I have this custom thing, but I'm sure it'll eventually make it to lore. You know, hopefully, if you guys thumbs up, it'll make it to lore. But it's basically a spinoff of Naked Brutality, and the only thing that's different is that they start with a tribal uh, tech tree, not a new arrival tech tree. So, it just makes it difficult on a technological scale, and you need to be good at playing the tribal part of it, which I think is sort of like the ultimate, ultimate uh, difficulty. Even though I'm not playing on Merciless, that's actually the ultimate difficulty. Uh, commitment mode. Uh, I also usually randomly choose the story narrator. We're just going to go with Cassandra this time. Just because. So this is how I choose uh, overall rainfall. I don't do. I usually don't do lowest possible. I do, do like to do the highest possible. So I'll start off here at low. If you don't have low, sometimes I find like uh, wildfires can just be ridiculous. Uh, and you just have no vegetation in the end because everything's burned. So that's why I have a little bit of rainfall possibly that's why i choose that so and then i'm just going to go out to like the letter v or something a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v it's like using the modulo operator basically to uh, uh trudy a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t um so i don't do the extremes on either of the temperature sides because i just find that either map's just so unplayable so we're looking at lower rainfall and a, a very low temperature for our map. So we're going to see forests. Uh, yeah, forests. I, would, I never predict these right. We'll see how it actually shakes out in a sec. I'm, I'm liking like boreal forests, though. That's what I think the biome. A lot of that. That's my favorite biome. So I'm hoping it'll be that. I like a lot of different biomes, though. So we're going to generate the world here. Here it is. Way more uh, deserty than I thought it would be. But yeah, you see a lot of boreal forests here. Are those jungles actually? Am I wrong? No, yeah, boreal forests. So that's sort of like a Canadian tundra kind of scheme. That kind of thing. Not tundra. The tundra is actually another biome on the in this game, hilariously. Here it is, the tundra. Ice sheet. This is the tundra. The pinkish one. Anyway, so we're going to hit advanced 300 by 300. We're going to select random site by hitting this button a bunch of times. And we're, what do we get? Ooh, that's kind of a nice spot. Uh, growing period? Never. Uh-oh. <laughs> so this has happened to me before. Um, it's almost impossible <laughs> to, to survive these maps when you have the tribal. It is possible when you have grow lights, but when you're on the tribal difficulty... It's really, really challenging. So we're gonna, um, you know, we're gonna see five, six, seven. We choose a random person again. Uh, we're gonna see how this plays out, uh, but it's not gonna work out. I don't think very well, unless we can find a way to light, to illuminate the crops in a tribal way, which I don't think is possible. It's not impossible to do this. It just means we can't grow crops. So let's see what her skills are. Yes, see right off the bat, I'm super happy because she has crafting skill four. That's the, I wanna say the most important thing. Oh yeah, because that means we can craft a bow and we're just gonna immediately craft a bow because I'm so excited. We are not even gonna waste any time. Bow, bow takes like, I think 40. We can see here if we go to details, 30 wood, even less than I thought. It takes two crafting. Wow, do you see that? I was wrong. Two crafting, not three crafting. So, that's good. We're going to see... Uh, we're going to speed it up. Let her, let her cut down her tree. Is it a she? Yes. Teenage female. Excellent. Long time to live yet. So, like I was saying, the, the boreal biome is one of my faves. I like the animals, and I like the trees... Okay, so now that should be enough. 
It's not quite enough, actually. So we'll take another big pine tree over here. And then we will hold in the shift button. Oh, we can't do that yet. We don't have the material. Okay, good enough. So now she's making short bow. So her name's Cod. What's Cod short for? Red Cod. I kind of like that, actually. It's a sweet name. All right. Let's check for fertile land. Did she finish already? Wow, that was fast. All right. So now we have a bow. The next thing I kind of want to concentrate is just throwing up a little shack. And this is actually perfect right here because you can see it's sitting on all this rich soil. The way you can tell it's rich soil is if you look over there in your lower left, you can look at the soil. Uh, fertility, 140%. So that's what we're looking for. And it's probably even wise to deconstruct this because this is actually sitting on rich soil. But we're not going to do the wise thing. We are going to do the unwise thing and just be lazy. And this is our base. Uh, I'm going to throw down a stockpile inside, just a little one inside the base. A little one taking up the entire base. Just so we don't waste time. I'm going to deconstruct this craft spot because we don't want to leave craft spots laying around. And then she, I believe, is going to get to cutting. Yes. We can chain the second one by holding the shift key. And so then she'll do them both. And hey, look at that. Another pine tree ready to be harvested. Captain Thornwood, what's up, my man? Yeah. I can't grow things. It's true. It's because the... Uh, I could technically grow things right now because the temperature is high enough. But that's just because we just started off and they're kind of taking it easy on us, temperature-wise. In the beginning, it's going to get cold. It's going to get cold quick. Looking on the map. Uh, so yeah, negative 6 to 42 degrees. So yes, <laughs> it's going to get quite cold. So that's something we have to think about. So we'll speed up this little uh, guy here. We're just trying to go for some shelter. So door, door. So we need 50 wood. So after these two pines, we should have 50 wood. We'll chain the hall. Watch until I die. Oh, that's not going to be uh, very long from now. But yes, I appreciate that. It actually, it kind of it kind of makes it exciting for me. It gives me more incentive to stay alive. All right, so let's see here. We got. Our stuff in here, we got our shack. We can go on and build a, uh, we cannot build a, actually I forgot, because we're on tribal brutality, we, we can't build a bed. That's even something that's out of our hands here. So we'll build a sleeping spot instead. And at least we get to sleep indoors in a relatively clean spot. Um, so we need more stuff. So the next thing I'm worried about is food. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna harvest berries and more berries. That's what we're gonna do actually right now. Those four berry bushes. So one, two, and then ooh, there's another one. Came out of nowhere. I think we should let this one grow a little bit more though. Uh, we're gonna chain the hall. <clears throat> and we're gonna bring those two back inside because we can't really be leaving them out in the rain. They will disintegrate out there. And before Cod tries to eat the berries, we will force her to cut these berries. Berries are good because you don't take a penalty to eating raw food. Although you can eat them raw. Uh, you can eat them raw, basically. We don't want her to do that, though, uh, just yet, because we want to be more efficient about it. We're going to actually be building a campfire inside, even, on some super ballsy shit. Oh, we don't want her to do that. <laughs> she was eager to eat those berries. Uh oh, she failed the construction of the thing. Oh, that's not good. Uh, how starving is she, really? She is starving. Uh, yeah, we're going to push it. We kind of have to take this risk in the beginning because it's just such a high likelihood that we're going to die no matter what we do. That we sort of just have to push it as far as we can go. So she might snap, and this might be the end. But it could be the new beginning, Cap. Could be the new beginning. 
All right, she's bringing this in, and she's going to hopefully build the... She's not building the thing. She's going to try to eat the berries. We're going to make her build the thing. She succeeded. Excellent. We're going to throw up a couple simple meal stuffs. Dink, dink, dink. That's, there we go. Slow it down. So, yeah. I'm also recording this, uh, by the way, Cap. So, I'm actually going to throw down this episode now and start up again. I'll see you all y'all in a minute if you are watching this in the future. So I'll see you soon.